morning. This is the morning news on WSBA, the Tuesday morning edition, hour number three. It's your turn to make the call. I'm Gary Sutton. And I'm Chris Tyler. WSBA News Time is 810. And we do have a handful. Well, I shouldn't say a handful. We have quite a few school delays this morning. They're mostly two-hour delays. You can check out the entire list right now at NewsRadio910.com. Click on the Stormwatch button right there in the homepage. And Stormwatch is powered by our friends at CBS 21. WSBA News Time is 8. 10. You know, a lot of people throw around left and right in our discussions, Chris, and yeah. liberal, conservative. Well, I thought it might be interesting this morning to ask you what you are. What side do you espouse? And you say, well, I'm not sure. I don't know if I espouse any side. But that's what we're going to talk about to start out with this one. We have a couple other things to throw in, too. But 1-800-357-0910. This hour belongs to you. It really does. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at Gary G. Sutton. I tweeted out a great article this morning. It'll also be on my Facebook page, but you can also check facebook.com slash 910WSBA here to comment on our show daily, and also at newsradio910.com for great deals and all kinds of updated news throughout the day. That is our website. So let me give you a little help to start out here. Let's, let's ask a couple questions this morning. Number one, what do we all want for our country? What are the things that we all want for our country? Simple question today, right? What things do we think are, you know, I think we all want the same things in life, don't we? But what are those things that we want in life in the America today? That's the very first thing. Secondly, what is the best way to get them? What's the best way to go about getting them? And then thirdly, is the liberal way or the conservative way the best way to do it? Or maybe a hybrid of both? I want you to really get involved in this this morning because what we're doing is some self-examination a little bit. All of us, self-included, Chris too. Uh, but, you know, how do you feel about that? What do we all want in our country today? What is the best way to get it done? And uh, what is it? Do you think it's a liberal way or conservative way? What, you know, how do you, how do you go about doing that? 1-800-357-0910. This is a positive kind of thing this morning. Uh, and for those of you that believe in, in kind of a liberal way of doing things, a lot of people get confused out there as to what liberal and conservative really mean. Well, maybe we need to define that. How about this? Let's give it a shot. Okay. Here, this is according to a thing I found, a Student News Daily thing, and I thought it had the best definitions of liberal and conservative that I've heard. Okay. okay. Let's go first of all liberal. Okay. okay. Liberals believe in government action to achieve equal opportunity and equality for all. Nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah. Okay. It is the duty of the government to alleviate social ills and to protect civil liberties and individual and human rights. Believe the role of, gov of government should be to guarantee that no one is in need. Liberal policies generally emphasize the need for the government to solve problems. Okay. Okay, that's kind of the, you know, no prejudice at all there. That's kind of what it is. Conservatives believe in personal responsibility, limited government... Free markets, individual liberty, traditional American values, and a strong national government. Believe the role of government should be to provide people the freedom necessary to pursue their own goals. Conservative policies generally emphasize empowerment of the individual to solve problems. Okay? Yeah, I think that's fair. Yeah. So, so yeah. there you have two very... Bland, so generic kinds of definitions of liberal and conservative. Can we make it, e well, can we make part of it even simpler? Liberals in general want big government. Mm -hmm. Conservatives in general want a smaller government. I think a lot of liberals would say big government's kind of prejudice. They would say, we think that government can even the playing field better. That, that government can somehow make sure that, you know, people who are in need are better taken care of. Uh, I think conservatives would say, well, we can do that as a society without the government. We can do that individually right. out there through our altruistic kinds of means. That charity, we charity, programs. charity, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. So so which one do you believe in? And, and I know there are people out there who say I'm a liberal and be proud of that. You know, I hear people say I'm conservative. And they're very proud of that. But what about being a liberal? Are but you I, proud I will, of that? I will tell you what else. A lot of people don't call themselves liberal or conservative anymore. They call themselves progressives, progressives right. or moderates or whatever because yeah. they're tired of, you know, the fighting from the far right and the far left. They're tired That's of that fight. That's a great fight. point, Chris. That's you know? a great point. So what are you? 
If, if you're not one of those two, then what are you? Let's open up the whole deck for everybody this morning. 1-800-357-0910. And, you know, kind of what proof do you have that your particular side is the best way of doing things? Three lines open. Do not sit on your hands today. It's not Christmas yet, okay? Jump in here with us. 1-800-357-0910. And give us the gift of a call this morning and some thinking behind it. And we'd like to hear what you have in mind. And especially if you've never called before. If you've never called before and you said, oh, and you had your hand down at the phone, it was like an electrical grid around it, and you couldn't put your hand on it, grab it now and call us. 1-800-357-0910. And we really do want to hear the inside of what you're thinking about. Let's start out with Bill and Shiloh this morning. Three lines open. 1-800-357-0910. Bill, it's your turn to make the call in the morning news. Go ahead. Yeah, good morning, guys. And if I don't get a chance to talk to you again before uh, Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to both. Merry Thank Christmas you, Bill. to you, Thank Bill. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Gary, uh, I, I'm, uh, the way in which I look at it is uh, this: if we want to, if we want to put labels on people and and try to get our, our our arms around this, I wish people would be truthful. I wish they would tell the truth when it comes to particular circumstances that we're dealing with. Right. The truth sometimes is very painful because people make mistakes and all of that sort of thing, but. If people tell the truth, then what happens is we begin to move forward because people recognize that. They may they accept an apology and say, okay, where do we go from here? People need to be truthful. If they're truthful, then I think what's going to happen is we would have a tremendous change in our society and the way in which we operate. Well, and, and what that would lead to, Bill, and I think you make a great point this morning, is better policy. Because now truthfulness right. would now lead people to truthfully want a solution to the problem that they have identified, which then takes all your sides out of the equation and say, well, here's the problem we all understand. But now, uh, how do I go about best solving it? But then you break into the liberal conservative, and the liberals say, well, I think maybe government could do it better. And then the conservatives will say many times, well, I, I don't know. I, I really think the, the individual maybe can do a better job taking care of this by authentic uh, you know, use of their own money and choices out there in society. So there, there's where you kind of say, okay, we all want to be truthful. But then how do right. we best go about solving the problem that we've been truthful about? Okay, we have we have two methods, and what's the way to do that? The way in which our society works today, and way uh, the way in which government works today. And number one, you can believe in the Bible and what the Bible preaches. A lot of people won't like that, but the Bible is very truthful. And secondly, is how was the Constitution of the United States uh, created? It was created based upon the idea of using the Bible as the foundation and the uh, and the Magna Carta. And and uh, those things then build upon the idea of being truthful. Well, you're and talking here about was, respect, and, and, and we've got to run to a hard break exactly here. But, right. but you're talking about respect, and yet at the same time, for those people who aren't necessarily Christians or believe in Christianity, isn't there a place for them here, too, in a country that says we respect your uh, right to right. not believe in anything yeah. or to believe in something else? Let's go to Joe, who's out on the road right now. Hey, Joe, good morning to you. It's your turn to make the call. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, happy holidays, so I'm not... Politically incorrect to all those on the left. <laughs> Merry Christmas um, and Happy New Year and anything else you want to be happy about, go ahead. That, yeah, that's real scary. You might wind up with uh, some kind of government sanction, you know. Um, we can't put Christianity above any other religion, you know. We're, we're all good liberals here. we got to make sure that uh, <laughs> we respect. Uh, over over the mainstream, we've got to respect the, um, the minority. We've got to uh, rise them above their um, oppression. Well, and I think, you know, I, I will say something serious there, Joe. I think it's important for everybody to respect who we are. You know, I, I, this idea I, that... I understand yeah, that. But, but when you rise people up to the point where you have programs that exclude uh, Christianity because somehow you want to make it Got fair, your point, yep. Or we can't play this game. I mean, when you abolish liberalism, liberalism, progressivism, they're all the same. When you have that socialist bent, or, or matter of fact, it's more of a... Um, fascist type bent when the government can control business better than the private sector. The uh, government can. See, I'm a staunch conservative. I'm not a Republican. Um, Republicans are part of the problem in this right. country, not part of the answer. Um, and I believe that a you know, limited government, I believe that the government should be the only form government should be responsible for is things outside our border, protecting the uh, the country. What are they, Gary? You're, 
you're familiar with what I'm trying to say. There's, right. there's five points that the government should be doing, and other than that, it should be out of our face. Um, we shouldn't have it in our um, the clothing we buy. The um, every time we turn around, the food we eat, they regulate. They want to regulate the salt. They right. want to regulate this, that. Um, you talk about liberalism. Liberalism is a um, or progressivism is a control of everything in your life from the time you get up in the morning to the time you go to bed at night, from the time you flush the toilet, you brush your teeth, to uh, you put on your glasses, hat. Every aspect of your life is controlled by somebody in Washington, and, and 65% of Republicans these days believe the exact same thing. And, and with the Democrats, are, forced, are, are pushing things to this end. Well, here's they, here's uh, here's another argument that gets so in, inserted. Listen, gentlemen, but thank you, Joe. Well, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's a good two cents. Here's the other argument, Joe. In all of this, that okay, was our cover was our country set up with a government that was supposed to expand its power, or was it set up with a document that was supposed to limit its power? The the answer is very simple. It was set up as a limiting document, the Constitution of the United States. Now, if you say it was not, then perhaps you're looking at it in a much more open fashion and maybe even don't even respect the Constitution. I don't know. I'm not going to try to put words in everybody's mouth there, but but that is a point. Do we try to expand as much as we can and, and get as much power for the federal government? We fought a whole revolution based on the idea that that wasn't a good idea. That we weren't supposed to expand out. That we were supposed to limit. And then we set up this Constitution, the bundle of compromises, to be a limiting document, keeping our government in check. Those people who would represent us. Hmm. Give us a call, 1-800-357-0910. Beth, you're next up. Go ahead. It's your turn to make the call, Beth. Well, Merry Christmas to y'all. Merry Christmas Thank to you. Thank you, Beth. Go ahead. Uh, I always describe myself as a raging moderate. <laughs> okay. All right. A raging moderate. I haven't heard that one yet, but that sounds pretty cool. Uh, I, there are some things that I think we do need to have government for, you know, schools, um, military, obviously, and uh, fire, police, that kind of thing. And we need to support that. Uh, so, And I think we need to have some government regulation to prevent the excesses of business that we saw, say, in the late 1800s and you know, to prevent, like, dumping of lead into water, you know. Okay. So I, I I, think there is room for, you know, like, environmental protection, but we need to be doing it without having an onerous burden on business. Um, so there needs to be a, a happy balance that I don't think we've quite found yet, I and mean, we seem to be going back and forth in this huge pendulum um, when probably what would work best is, you know, somewhere in the middle with, uh, say, business and environment. Well, it's a nice thought, but here again, the problem that we have is government is insatiable, it seems to me, for more power. When they see one ill, they then say, well, that's connected to this other ill over here, and then that's connected to another ill. Then we ought to be able to expand that. So, again, I come back to the word, they want to expand their power to include more and more. Take a look at President Obama. He passed more regulations in three years, uh, and in fact, the most since 1997, as opposed to wanting to limit limit it everything we do ought to be the government how how are we limiting the government's power and keeping it in a kind of a a tighter parameter i think that's really a main point here beth great i i agree obama has completely overstepped his bounds on a lot of re over regulation i've seen it in medicine i've seen it in you know environmental regulation right. I've seen it in business regulations and it, that scares the snot out of me well and it ought oh. to be it ought to be not Obama doing or the president doing it ought to be what are we as a government representatives of the people doing to best take care of the good of the nation and we're not doing Absolutely. that right now Beth probably the last thing you want to talk about this time of season is government and you know what are you a liberal or conservative we've asked that question this morning which is exactly what we're dealing with that today we want to get you out of your comfort zone a little bit and keep on thinking but how about this what is the job of the government the government being those people who represent us. What is their job? Can you can you define that? Think about that for a moment, and then come back at 840 this morning at one 800 357 and tell us. And I also want to know, are there people out there who are, li let's say, liberal, in, uh, uh, let's say social issues, but conservative on economic issues? I bet there's more and more people out there like that. And maybe one other thought, 
Do you think before you check the scoreboard to see what your side is doing? Just a thought. And we've been asking the question this morning, are you a liberal or are you a conservative? And what does that mean to you? And we said in the beginning that we all want the same things in life, I think. We want freedom. We want the chance for prosperity. We want as few people suffering as possible. We want healthy children. We want to have a crime-free city and streets and town and borough, whatever. The argument is, how do we achieve them? What's the best way to go about that? And so I think we have to... You know, besides just saying I'm a liberal or conservative, whatever else you call yourself, give us a call, 1-800-357-0910. Here's the question on the table then. What is the job of government? What is the job, and when we say define government as, well, we the people are supposed to be the government, but what is the job of those representatives who represent our interests in trying to achieve all those things we mentioned? Now, are you speaking of just the federal government at this point? Uh, I'm, I'm speaking of any government, really. Okay, okay. Federal government, probably the main thought there, but, right. you know, any government, what is the job? What, what, in order to get freedom, prosperity, few people suffering as possible, healthy children, crime-free streets, what is the job of government? And... Those people who represent us. Now, don't sit on your hands on this, okay? And again, if you've never called before, now's a great time for you to break in today at 1-800-357-0910. And we have three lines open for you right now, so grab them. Uh, we'd love to hear from you on this. And what do you consider yourself? Liberal, conservative, something else? Uh, and if so, why do you? Why do you think that way? Because we're really trying to see why people think the way they do. Not to criticize people, but why they think the way we do. We all have opinions on this. But at the same time, you know, we're going inside this subject, maybe like not a whole lot of other people want to do. We will. Let's go to Craig. Craig, you're next up. Go ahead. It's your turn to make the call, Craig. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yeah, how you guys doing? Good. We're doing very well. Good. Thank you. Good, good. Um, you know, I, I think uh, that government, first of all, I'm scared to death for our country. Yeah. I think we are headed in such the wrong direction. But I find it uh, amusing in the, that... When you commit a crime, you have to do community service to fulfill the the uh, fines or the obligations of that crime. But when you want subsidies, when you want welfare, and when you want this, and when you when you need this and need that, and then people that are getting it are so capable of going out and doing community service. There's where I think is one of the biggest things with all these entitlements. Uh, it's wrong. I mean. You, you can be healthy and get welfare and food stamps and everything else and the bottom of phones and this and that, and you don't have to do a damn thing for it. But you, you, you commit a, a, a small misdemeanor or something like that where, where on top of the fines and so forth and so on and suspensions like DUIs where you have to, be, you have to fill a 40-hour community service program, um, you, you know, there's something wrong. And, you know, I'm so tired of listening to Phil Barletta, this, uh, the, uh, uh, Congressman Barletta, Representative Barletta, on the phone with uh, R.J. Harris this morning. I'm getting so sick of listening to politicians say the same thing day in and day out, year in and year out, that it's getting almost, uh, uh, it's, it's annoying. Well, and, and, you know, and here's the problem that you have. Here's the problem that you have. And, you, and, and Craig, you, you hit a great point this morning. We don't want to hear any more of the speak. We don't want to hear any more of the Rhetoric. jargon, the cliches. Uh, I've offered an idea that we should put maybe like uh, um, the little fence thing you put on your dog, put a collar around their necks, and if they say a cliche or they lie or something, it buzzes with increasing amounts of electricity along the way. Just a thought. Um, what was that called? Invisible fence? Yeah. I think, yeah. yeah. So I, mean, I understand your point. They don't speak the way we speak. And I thought this morning Charlie Giroux hit a great point that, you know, they're inside the bubble. It gets surreal in there. Uh, Lou Barletta happens to be a pretty good friend of mine. And I, I think, you know, he, he means to say the right things. The problem is when you get inside that beltway atmosphere, it is tough. It is tough to keep on speaking the language of the people. You speak the language of the caucus, and you've got to be very, very strong in this. Not to say there aren't some people out there that are doing it to, to kind of stand up against that stuff. And if you don't play the game, you're ostracized. To the point where you get no cooperation from other members of Congress. You got it. And you find your office in the basement somewhere, <laughs> in the garage, or wherever it might be. Yeah. I mean, those kind of things actually do happen. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, but, but here, try this. Okay, what is the job of government? What if I offer you this? Okay, what if I offer you this? It would be this. Empower the people to be independent. Empower the people to be independent. Empower the people to be independent. And anything else other than that, 
you're doing the wrong thing. Now, somebody tell me if that's wrong. If, if government is to do one thing above all else, it's empower the people of this country, the people that they represent, to be more independent. And what does that mean? Well, let's face it. That is the conservative viewpoint. I, no, I don't see. I don't think it's necessarily a conservative viewpoint. I think it comes down to the viewpoint. You know, we all basically set up there that we want to be free. Well, free is independent, right? If we all want to be free, if we all value freedom, then don't we all want to make sure that someone is helping to, you know, again, and what does that do? It's a limiting factor on the government. And it basically is saying to us, okay, we want you to be independent. Now, if government, uh, or let's say if business gets too big in some places, if business is acting unethically, then by putting the clamps on those businesses that are doing that, aren't they then giving us more choices on our own to be independent? I don't know if that goes too deep or not, but I think that the idea is do what you can do to let the citizen flourish on their own in this country. Yeah. And, and we're not seeing that. I, I, the, what do you think? 1-800-357-0910. We're really trying to explore this this morning. And, Craig, thank you for your call. I truly appreciate it. But 1-800-357-0910. I can't believe that you don't dive into this. See, this is the one where you might be sitting back listening and saying, well, I kind of want to make up my mind. But I know a lot of you are sitting there saying, as, as uh, a couple of people already have, I'm a diehard this. Where are the progressives out there, the liberals, whatever you care to call yourselves, who believe that the government does a better job with my business than I do with my business? Where are the people who believe that, you know, government is better equipped? You know, one of the things I was thinking about here just for a moment uh, was this idea that, you know, people say, well, the government does a better job. Uh, and, and they're going to they're going to keep the playing field level for all of us and, and, you know, make sure that we cure social ills. Here's the problem. For conservatives, the economy, for example, operates, capitalism, operates on the idea of what? Being ethical. That you're going to make money in an ethical way. And we obviously know that there are a lot of companies in this country who don't do that. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So then we say, okay, well, let's turn to the government. The government is supposed to make sure that our ills are cured by going out and making sure those bad companies don't do what they're doing. And yet what happens? The very people that we pick to do that now go in. And here's the, the liberal side of things. And what do they do? We see President Obama putting things off. We just learned this last few days, putting things off before the election because they wouldn't serve him very well yep. until after the election. And then after the election, he forgot about doing them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we have uh, congressmen, senators who are going on junkets with money given to them by big business who well might be doing the right or wrong thing. And so they are paid off. And so they're, they have now become corrupted. So who do we turn to? Who's the one group in all of this who probably is generally the least corrupted of all? I would say the people. You've got to come back to people and say, okay, we've got to let you make the choices. The problem is there are some in government, there are some in business that don't want that to happen. What are your thoughts? 1-800-357-0910. What is the purpose of government? And are you a liberal or conservative? 1-800-357-0910. I say it's empower people to be independent. And, and I offer you one number. And again, I'm not. this is not just to tear apart the Obama administration, but when you double the amount of food stamps recipients exactly. in the last five years, when you double that, are you making them more independent or less independent of government? And, and obviously, the more dependent you become on government, the less independent you are, so, I think. And I've asked this question before. Does, it, does that mean more and more Americans are, are becoming lazy people? Well, I think when you teach people how to be dependent, as opposed to teaching people how to be independent, which is what the government should be helping to do. Right. In, in other words, every policy ought to be moving in that direction. When you teach dependency, then people say, oh, well, that's what the government wants us to be. And, and you know, I'm getting free stuff or I'm getting this stuff. Uh, so that's part of my life. You change the habits from being independent over to being dependent. I truly believe that. What do you think? 1-800-357-0910. Rick in Middletown, go ahead. It's your turn to make the call. Good morning, hi. Rick. Good morning. Uh, yeah, hi. I um, just want to make, tell you a quick story. Um, I, I farmed all my life, except um, like 10 years ago, I got out of farming and uh, went out and started driving a truck. Okay. Well, well, I got too many points on my my license and so I lost I got laid off from driving for a while so right. I um, 
I went on unemployment, qualified, you know, and, sure. um, you know, I was, wanted to do other jobs, you know, to work when I could, and I kept hearing people say, oh, don't do that, you'll mess up your unemployment. Right. So I found myself having to um, go to the computer uh, every other week and punch in a few lies, and, uh, you know, I kept hearing that recurring thing, you don't want to mess up your unemployment. Yes. Well, you know, I got kind of mad. I said, yes, I do want to mess up my unemployment. I don't want unemployment. I want to be employed. So I, I just said, heck with it. I'm not even going to file for unemployment. Well, you know, I, I tell you, I, I don't know if you're in the majority, the minority of people, Rick, but uh, you know, I, I, I got to admire what you're doing because you're fighting to get the independent spirit there. Thank you for your call. I think he's in the majority, but unfortunately, I, I think the minority, that number is growing bigger and bigger. I think there are more and more people who are like, well, if... If I, if I qualify for it, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take every last penny that I can before I start right. to work, look for right. my next job. Right. Hey, d doesn't it boil down to honor? Yeah. Have we, have we lost honor? We roll back into ethics. And the problem yeah. is our whole system, capitalism, democracy, the whole thing is, is, is cornerstone is ethics. And when we lose the ethics, then we're going to begin to lose those things. The other point that, that and I had a friend like this, and and. You probably know some more about this than I do. Even we have about a minute to go here in this segment. My friend said I, I wanted to take a job, but I'm getting paid more on unemployment than I am to take this oh, yeah. job. I've heard that. So, is the government now providing you with the opportunity to be more independent or more dependent on the government when they do that? Well, I know the answer. You know the answer. Yeah, more dependent. Shouldn't it be to make you squirm a little bit? I, I mean, I'm. I'm. I, I, there are people who who deservedly. Are going to be oh, yeah. on unemployment for I a long time. I was on unemployment after I lost, you know, my, my long-term job yeah. in, in Harrisburg. I was on unemployment for, well, pro it was probably only like a month and a half. Right. Because then I, I kept looking for a job, and I finally got, got a job. You know, I look for a job every day. Um, right. I, think there are, I think there are many people out there that don't do that. I agree. And, and even though you have to say you do, then you can kind of put down something that you right. looked up or whatever. But bottom line is, is the government empowering people to be more independent so we can all enjoy freedom? Big question. Words of wisdom today. Woodrow Wilson, if you would be a leader of men, you must lead your own generation, not the next. Um, not a bad thing to think about right there. Yeah. Tomorrow on the morning news, uh, we'll have Chris Markowski on at 610 tomorrow morning on the economy and what's going on with Obamacare and so much more. Uh, and we're also looking forward tomorrow to talking a little bit more about this conservative liberal thing. Uh, and we're going to welcome in tomorrow Brad Bumstead, who's a columnist from the New York area who writes the Pittsburgh Tribune, who's written about Keystone Corruption. He'll join us at 810. Have a great day, everyone. Be careful out there. It's 9 o'clock.